Well, good morning, folks. How are we doing? Taking the R12 9T back today. Go and pick the big GS up. <laughs> I love this. I do love it. I know I always say that. I do always say that. But I do love this. It's a massive improvement over the old R9. For me, the engine is just loads smoother. It feels gruntier low down. The bike's ergonomically comfier. And the suspension, for me, that's where the difference is. Plus, this has got a blipper. I know I didn't need second then, but just proving the point. It's loads smoother on and off the throttle. Loads smoother. I believe one of the other models has two dials rather than that, rather than the uh, little tiny TFT. Uh, I think I prefer that. I think this just suits dials, doesn't it? That style of bike. Anyway, don't let these blue skies fool you. It's absolutely Baltic. It was three degrees just when I looked on the old phone. I've got me, obviously I've got me adventure helmet on. Not worry for a while, I thought I'd give it a run out today. And be eventually done. And the air uh, is coming obviously under there and it's freezing my chin. Lovely. Lovely. So apparently the big GS is all done. They've put a new brake pipe on it, apparently. It's been serviced. Uh, there's not two random comments. Uh, on the last video saying how much I've lost and spent at BMW they said over the years all the money you've lost they're like why are you on a boat I've only had three bikes the, the black GS I've got now is only the third bike I've had from there I don't know where you you must be watching another channel or something so the black GS is only the third bike I've had from there the one before it the sale got null and voided so nothing happened with that it's, you know the urban one so I don't I, I, sorry I don't get you I'm like what are you on a boat we're servicing this is the first BMW service I've ever had <laughs> I used to get rid of the bike before and this absolutely flies it's got 110 horsepower allegedly it feels like shit well it's all talk I know I know it's all talk that then just pulling up there smooth as silk it was like turbine smooth really beautiful anyway let's go and see if the big black GS is ready see you in a bit well while we sit on the old uh, dumb motorway and if you're wondering I did say last time I'm only sat in this lane because as it gets round here the road surface on the middle lane is absolutely horrendous it's, 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 it's not safe I don't know how the lane it happened yeah, just to get me further around here, the road surface there, well you can probably see it now, there's literally one inch chunks missing out of the tarmac at that. So that's why I'm sat in this lane. I shouldn't have to explain it, but you know, all, all the wet wipes on the uh, YouTube. Oh, you're sat in the fast lane. You're like, oh, fuck yourself. Sorry, folks. Anyway, look at these. As you know, Faye had trouble with <laughs> we getting, getting an erection. No. Her mount kept uh, flopping. It's not getting any better, this, is it? So, uh, Ultimate Add-ons have got these now. Like I said, we don't get paid by them or nothing like that. You get a couple of uh, a couple of pence commission. But uh, these, they've got all these new mounts, the heated grip, they've got all sorts now. Uh, so if you put tins 10 as the code, you get an extra 10% off. But that is ideal, especially if you're vlogging. You can attach that anywhere. If you want to get some action shots, you can even put extender bars on it. But if you've got a GS or anything with bars on, you can clamp it to the bars and get some action shots of your wheels and what have you. If the wheel decides to lift off the floor for whatever reason, oh, we have our Nikon. Or Nikon. 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 Oh, God, it's cold. I was going to go back roads, but uh, we're out this afternoon, me and Fay. On the bike, so I need to get there and get back. And most of all, go check my wallet then, pay for it. As I said, first ever BMW service this. I used to do it myself, but this black one I've got now has got a full history. Uh, and it'd be a shame not getting another stamp in the book, wouldn't it? Especially if you're going to sell it, you know what everyone's like. Has it got a full BMW history? It certainly has. 
Although a sump plug's a sump plug, oil's oil. Just because you earn a BMW overall, doesn't make the oil change any better. Hashtag, just saying. I'm not going to lie folks, that was a bloody cold old ride that. It was forecast really nice today. Unbelievable. No, honestly, it was really forecast a nice weekend. Well, they're just going to pick up a bit later. Uh, the clock's obviously not right on there. I can't even see clock anymore. I'm asking about with it. Uh, but it'll be about quarter past nine. And it's literally freezing. Uh, I don't know. I can't see it win at the moment. Yeah, so maybe a slight change to the... Uh, the tour plans. Faye's dying to take her own bike, so that could be happening yet. So uh, God knows whether it's going to be a ferry or a channel tunnel or what. Oh, she's always wanted to do it, and it's uh, why not? Good a time as any, innit? Got a pr bit of practice in these next four months. It is four months, isn't it? May, June, July. Oh God, no, three months. Three and a half months, we'll call it. Snotty nose left in, it's proper dithering cold. Proper. Shit. I just blipped the downshift and it's got a blipper already on it. It's just muscle memory, innit? I'm actually glad to stop for a minute, it's kind of warm. Jesus, tonight. And Joseph tomorrow, I don't know where the bloody there we are. Can you see me? It's me, look. Oh god. I've got I've got the heated grips on two. On three, they're just too hot. But the outside here and the cold the inside bloody like lava. Well we're here. Just thought the GS is ready and not road down here freezing me nads off and out. And I remember to take all this bloody gubbins off as well. I have done that in past. I've gone home and left the bloody add-ons clamps on. <laughs> Shit, it's freezing. Need to man up. Need to man up. Can I see the big GS anywhere? No. Yes, no, I can't. Thought I could. Might see where we're going in. No. It is nowhere to be seen. said first and foremost get all this gubbins off and the second and foremost is get a brew <laughs> frozen oh I'm gonna turn into a right tart me nah joking aside you know I've got a I do suffer from rain hands in my hands like so it's only my hands that bother me really I can pretty much get away with it I did a cracking video on that you know and lost all the footage every bit of it I just uh I just formatted the cards stupidly Yes, yeah, so this is keyless. Obviously, keys in my po well. It's weird that, isn't it? Keyless, put the keys in my pocket. Uh, that makes loads of sense, doesn't it? So that is just a quick undo, and we're off. How cool is that? But I'm going to take this off because I've got that attached. Uh, see, I've took this off now, and I've nowhere to bloody put it now. Have I? Yeah. What we've got to do with this now? Now let's turn you off. So I've got that attached with a strap, just a windy strap. Like I say, all these are available, and it's not, I'm not using it just for the sake of it. I'm using it because we've always used them. And then they said, you want to try one of these new things? And uh, this is this is a great bit of kit. Uh, I usually carry this everywhere in my tank bag. And then if we're taking other bikes out or anything, I just put this on and uh, I've got navigation then on it. I usually put it around something a bit more girthy, but it's fine. It's fine. That's it. That says I'm D ultimate add on. I'm D. D add on. It's all off. That's the mount that comes with it, the SP mount. Pull that out towards it. That expands. Put your phone there. Uh, it's like using my own stuff. Anyway. Oh, let's go and get a brew. Let's go and get a brew. There's the lovely sofa. How we doing, pal? Uh, 
Oh, cheers, pal. Thank you. Yeah, no, just can put it on my Oh, God. Even my ass is cold. Well, folks, all done. Ready to rock. So, based on the Allen Oil service, uh, it's all they needed because they had a full one last time uh, before I picked it up. And it's had the new uh, holes fitted, Goodridge. That's all sorted. Well, I'm saying it's all sorted. <laughs> I presume so. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, bike doesn't move anyway, so. <laughs> It'll be right. Look at that. <laughs> what kills that? What one? I want everything though. Right, let's get home. Got a few things to do today. Really, it's non stop at the moment. Literally non stop. I was going to take another bike out for a ride for a bit, but I can't be bothered today. Luckily, it's not as cold now as when I turned up. It says it's 8 degrees now. I know it's not warm, but better than the bloody 3 and 4 it was when I came in. Let's cut the old leg off it. Imagine if this didn't start now. <laughs> Love it. We're in neutral anyway. Yep. We've started. We've got fuel in. Eating grips are on. So we've done 25,000 mile on this. Basically, as you know, all I've done on this is two European trips and one big camping trip. The following map data is more than a year old. Well, that won't matter because that will be gone after today. Uh, I'm more into Google Maps at moments. I usually have. I, I've got uh, Cali Motor on my phone, but at moment, just forgetting places, I do use Google Maps a lot. Uh, especially when you're abroad and you just want to get somewhere, you know, the traffic, you know, real time traffic info and all that kind of stuff. I hate it when you have dick about with your stuff. 89 mile range, easy to try and read the range on that thing I do. Uh, look at that. The 53 to gallon it's been doing. And 11 degrees, that's usually what I leave it on, I leave it on the outside temperature. Although it says 11 though, my phone says 8. I'll, I'll stick with that, that's better. Come on, Scout Road. Yeah, it's definitely a bit warmer than it was. It does say it's dropped down to 10 on the boat. We'll take it. This helmet's great. Once it's a bit warmer, but in the cold, oh, there's like drafts everywhere that go in it. It's really, really comfortable, like really, really comfortable, especially with the comms and the. Oh, I've got the cheap comms on this one. Forgot about that. <laughs> I was going to say the car doors, which not. It's uh, uh, what are we on the Mormon X2 or whatever it was called, M2. I don't know. Cracking budget comms, then though. They've never failed, and they, they last for about five days on one charge. It's ridiculous. Sometimes it's not worth spending a bomb. To be honest, though, as well with comms, I don't use it for sat nav. I don't have it, even in the wagon at work for the last 20 years. I always have the sat nav switched off and just have the screen on it if I'm using one. Like, I can't be doing with sat nav instructions telling you to turn left six times before you get to the turning, and I can see them turning left and see the bloody map. The people said, You have your comms running through you think no I don't have anything running through it I don't listen to music on it it's just for chatting to you when fair's on basically just for past the time or more than out as you know when you're touring especially if you're two up it can be a and you've got to do a big motorway slog to get somewhere it can be a boring all time for the pillion if you're not gabbing away well the bike feels great I don't know why it wouldn't do but it feels great I don't use the back brake anyway, so I wouldn't slice. I've just tried it then, it's alright, like it's it was alright before, it's just the, the cosmetic part of the of the brake pipe being a bit rusty, but it was it was fine. But there's a new pipe on now. Uh, as I say, I don't use back brake. Never have done, it's just the way I've a road. 
Remember Chris, was it Chris Walker? Oh, I can't remember. Somebody, uh, one of racers, and they was asking like how much back brake did you use? He said I've never pressed it. <laughs> so I wouldn't know I've never pressed it. Do the time I might, the odd dab, but not on this, not on a GS. When I used to have sports bikes and that, I sometimes I used to trail back a bit with the back brake, just steady the bike a bit into corners, faster corners, like, but uh, I'm just not a back breaker. Weirdly, the bike feels taller. And they've not, they've not adjusted nothing, but the bike feels a bit taller than it did. They probably just pumped the tyres up. Yeah, you just gab away on your phone though, mate. Yeah, you don't worry about driving. You gabbed away that much, you missed the lights. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm gonna jump on the uh, the motorway now, get my ass home, and I've got a lot, a lot of bits and bobs to do. Phased on the list as long as we bloody arm that sort stuff out. Anyway, folks, only a quick one today. Oh, the old Bill at the uh, Ministry checkpoint there. The old William. He's looking at me then. See you in the next one, see you later!